my loves, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna go for a walk around East London to show you what it's currently like. And I'm gonna meet my friend Leah over there to go and see Broadway Market, London Fields, Victoria Park, and also Regent's Canal. Under the current rules, we're able to meet one person outside of our household or within our support bubble for an outdoor walk. Most of the shops are closed, there's no dining options, but you are allowed to get like takeaway coffees and things like that. Over the coming weeks, depending on what happens in London and England, I would love to show you more of London outside of central London. Right now, I can only show you places where I can physically like walk to, but um, there's other parts of London where I can't get there right now, or the suburbs and things, and I'm trying to avoid public transport because it's not an essential journey. We'll see what happens, but know that is part of uh, what I'm planning to film over the coming weeks or months or upcoming year, depending on what happens. I've just gotten ready, but before I head out, I thought I would show you a few new jewelry pieces I've added to my collection. And this section of the vlog is sponsored by Anna Louisa, and this is our second partnership together. And if you are interested in treating yourself or your loved ones to some jewelry pieces from Anna Luisa, then make sure to check out the exclusive Black Friday sale on annaluisa.com forward slash Deja Shoe BF. And uh, yeah, let's talk about some new jewelry pieces. First of all, we have these Joanne pearl chain stud earrings, and I love how elegant they are, but how different and eye-catching it is as well. It just goes beyond your standard pearl earrings, and I just love the drop chain detailing, and it's still elegant, but it's got a bit of an edge to it as well. I like how it contrasts with my black hair. Now, we all know how much I love layering my gold necklaces, so I couldn't resist and I added another necklace set to my collection. And this is the Temple Green layered necklace set. This one comes with the choker necklace and also with this Temple Green little pendant as well. And I like how they both look. What I love about this is that you essentially have two necklaces in one. Just really, really dresses up the basic items in your wardrobe. And it just really elevates your whole look. And you go from, you know, shoving on a V-neck to suddenly being like, I am ready for whatever occasion that it calls for. And the third piece I have are the Hannah Marble Blue Enamel Earrings. They're big enough to be a statement earring, but also small enough that you can still wear other jewellery with it as well, and it doesn't have to be the sole piece that you're wearing. To tell you a little bit about Ana Luisa and why I love partnering with them, they are an affordable luxury jewellery brand based in New York, and they have sustainability as one of the core focuses within their business. So that goes from offsetting 100% of their carbon emissions, there are no luxury markups when it comes to pricing their items, they use the best noble metals when it comes to their jewellery pieces and I can vouch for how long lasting they are because the ones that I featured are two months ago. I've been wearing them every single day and I wear them in the shower and everything as well and they're still looking just as new as when they first arrived. And if you are looking to treat yourself or your loved ones over Black Friday and the festive period then do go on annaluisa.com forward slash deja shoe bf and get yourself a discount. And now I'm ready to go and meet my friend Leah so let's head over to East London. Broadway Market is a Victorian street market situated in the borough of Hackney. In the future, it can be reached via Bethnal Green Underground Station, London Fields Overground and various buses to St Joseph's Hospice in Mare Street. As of right now, Broadway Saturday Market is still open for essential items. Broadway Hot Food Market is open on Sundays from 12 o'clock to 6.30 and essential shops remain open every day. So I'm currently at the entrance of Broadway Market. I'm just waiting for my friend Leah and I'm not going to lie, it's a really, really busy day today. I know it's a Sunday, so it's like one of the busiest days. Well, it is the busiest day for Broadway Market. I'm currently stood in front of a Christmas tree little van where they are offloading some Christmas trees for the festive season. I put my microphone here as well. Hopefully you can hear me more clearly. And just to show you what Broadway Market is like, currently on a Sunday as of now, which is the end of November, pretty much the last week of November. So yeah, let's have a look. Ordinarily, there are over 70 cafes, restaurants, shops, and greengrocers that operate here. The hot food market that day had a fenced entrance system and we noticed social distancing measures were in place outside coffee shops and eateries. Look who's here, Leah's back. And she looks so beautiful today. Oh. Talk us through your outfit if you'd like Oh, my to. outfit, yes. So, boots are all saints, which I love. And then these jeans are really high. Sorry, I'm undressing myself on the street. Um, they are, and other stories. And then I've got the Zara top um, and Zara coat because most things are Zara. And oh, 
Also is our scarf. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's go get a coffee. Bea and I went to get a takeaway chai latte. There were hand sanitizers at the entrance, controlled entry, and we continued to wear a face mask while we're on the premise. Because it was so busy, we decided to head over to Regent's Canal to go for a stroll instead. And fun fact, Regent's Canal is 200 years old this year and the total length spans across 8.6 miles, connecting places such as Little Venice, Camden, Regent's Park, Primrose Hill, King's Cross to Victoria Park. We've been walking along Regent's Canal and we're now at Victoria Park, which is a huge park in East London. I've not actually been here since Phil Day, which is a festival here in the summer. So let's go for a little walk. I'm just going to wait for everyone to go past me first. And there's also this chai latte. It's so good. We had it with oat milk and it is fantastic. It's like the perfect pick-me-up. But of course, the usual safety measures are also in place. So still keeping socially distanced, still have your mask on in busy public places. Sanitary all of the usual things. I've asked my dear friend Leah to hold the camera for me to talk you through the outfit. So I've got a Reese V-neck jumper on today, tucked into a green skirt from Zara that I bought years ago. And I wanted to match it with my temple green necklace because that's just that extra. And then I've got a little camel coat, which I bought from Seoul years ago, little tote bag, and obviously my new jewelry and a chai latte as an accessory. So we're now gonna walk around Victoria park stretch these legs a little bit and then um yeah see what we get up to next so i'm now at the exit of the victoria park market but here there's loads of stores that sell fresh produce cheese breads burgers Oh, there's a pie over there. Now here at the sunken garden. That would be so nice in the springtime. But now we are walking around Victoria Park and there's less people here as well, which is nice. I have never been to the Chinese pagoda and it's that away. The Chinese pagoda was originally created in 1842 as the entrance of Hyde Park's Chinese exhibition, but was shortly moved to Victoria Park. It was unfortunately demolished in 1950s following the damage from World War II and then eventually recreated in 2010 from a 4.5 million pound grant to the borough and with that fun fact after our walk we decided to get some takeaway food from a nearby stall we're gonna get a sushi bowl okay to go so leo and i are gonna get this i'm gonna go for the spicy tuna leo what are you gonna go for i think the wasabi salmon wasabi yeah okay oh my god let's hope they still have some left oh. <laughs> we're good now <laughs> yeah now yeah we only have the miso soup left oh no I know. Oh, okay. Oh, no worries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Don't worry. We're gonna go for a, a katsu wrap instead. They're very famous. I'm gonna go for the chicken, unless they're sold out as well. <laughs> We're now sat down at a bench and we ordered a, well I ordered a chicken katsu wrap from a stall called Hoshi and Leah ordered a tofu wrap and inside I've got chicken katsu, all the salads and also chilli sauce, garlic mayo and chilli oil. So I'm so excited to dig in because I've heard so much about these katsu wraps so um, yeah. Actually, should I dig in on here? Yeah. So far, I've only got chili oil and salad, but that's still very good. So I've got chili chicken. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm just eating this now. This is so good. I'm so glad I asked for two types of chili sauce because the chili oil and the katsu in the car is so good. How's your wrap? It's so good. I asked her what sauce would be best, and she said everything. That's what we have. <laughs> So, everything. <laughs> Would you believe it's only half four right now, but it's already dark out here in London. But I'm now heading outside of Victoria Park and I'm gonna make my way home and say goodbye to Leah. Just there. <laughs> and it's been so delightful. I know it's so dark here right now. Well, well I've got a lamp on me right now, but hope you enjoyed this little exploration around East London today. I'm not being in Victoria Park in so long so it was so nice to like go for a little wander around if you do enjoy the jewelry that i'm wearing then i will leave a link to them down below leah now wants to buy these earrings oh my gosh trips <laughs> but leah wants these earrings and it's really exciting I'm buying them when we get home. she's yeah. buying them away and she's getting home and she's not just saying that because she's my friend these are beautiful so anyway i'm not gonna trip again while i'm walking <laughs> If you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here then consider subscribing for more videos like this as well as food and travel and now a little bit of fashion and i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or evening and i'll see you in my next video goodbye